I would prefer the Babadook's take on what it's talking about to Hereditary, right? Like I think that what I think Hereditary is doing is it's doing like a lesser version of a Babadook statement. And it's kind of talking about like, obviously it's the things that you pass on through family and the difficulties of like, do you have a kind of fate on your own or are you totally bound to your genetics and things like that? Like how far does the demon blood in you carry into your children? Mm -hmm. I don't think he really gets into it in any kind of interesting or thought provoking way that I think the Babadook does. But what I think this movie does uh, better than the Babadook is that this movie is legitimately terrifying Mm. outside of that. So it's a, it's got this scary, it excels in, it excels at being a better horror movie than the Babadook does, but I think it's less interesting as like a concept of what they're talking about, but I don't think it's a bad Mm. idea what they're discussing. Well, so not, I'm going to do this thing again that I do. Um, I'm finishing my I'm finishing school right now and the paper I'm writing is all about uh intergenerational trauma and uh guilt oh and complicity inherited down through generations. So so, so this was basically home can you can you do you get write offs in school? Is this kind of a write off? A homework write off? I don't really, file I your really, taxes yet. I wish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you yeah, when you file your grad grad school taxes, is that how it works? Yeah. I don't know. I do I get a couple extra uh, like tenths of a point on my GPA because of this? Hey, uh, unfortunately not. Can you, if you want to um, say that you are technically an intern on this, if that gets you extra credit, that. <laughs> Thanks, I, I appreciate the offer. Um, no, but but so I think the thing, the connection between this this movie, Hereditary, and the Babadook, I think they're doing kind of. It's almost like two sides of the same coin where you're inheriting from your predecessors in your family, you're inheriting certain, you know, in this it's all like about demonic blood and and, and this like legacy of kind of evil. In the Babadook, the mother eventually manages to take some responsibility for that even though it's not entirely her fault and Mm -hmm. do something about it to save her son whereas in this movie the father is kind of completely disconnected from what's going on he he's in a lot of ways in deep deep denial and just won't even admit that stuff is as bad as it is until it gets much too far past the point of no return and annie is kind of the same way where like clay you brought up that in during the dinner scene the son kind of says well what about you you don't take responsibility for this either right and she throughout most of the movie is kind of denying her responsibility for anything that's really going on in her family and whereas in the babadook when the mother realizes the part she has played there's like this redemption arc in this movie annie realizes eventually that this is her fault but it's too late and she can't save her family and everything still goes to hell. Do you, how do you guys feel about this movie? Do you feel like it sidesteps having to really make a statement about this stuff by ending the way that it does? Because I I feel like when you get into this sort of, um, these sorts of stories, you kind of have to make a decision whether or not you're using that stuff as, a, uh, a a backdrop or if you're actually trying or backdrops not is too dismissive of a word but basically if, if you're trying to make the metaphor the thesis of the movie kind of which it sounds it's been a while since i've seen the babadook but it seems like the babadook does that more than this does whereas this one this one ends with the freaky scene with the sun being inhabited by the demon uh who is now the reincarnation of the daughter who died or something i think <laughs> do you find the, that the that's... spirit the spirit has passed yeah into into him finally the ultimate goal is achieved where a male body has been found for yes. one of the kings of hell do you find that's in line with the the way that they deal with this stuff or do you guys feel like it's a bit of a sidestep of actually having to to say something about it amanda you can go first Oh, I was going to let you go because I feel like I just talked a ton. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, I, I think, um, I think this ending is appropriate for what this movie is saying. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I, I won't go to like it is helpful to compare it to the Babadook, but what this movie's saying about hereditary and genetics and stuff and family relationships is that it's basically like the science version of it, which is that like you're you can't escape your genetics in a way, like mental illness or whatever will run in your family, and there is no way to kind of avoid it, no matter how much you want to deny that this is going to happen. Mm. So, hereditary is more the damage is inevitable to be passed on to you, whether you're not, you're considering trauma or you're just considering it some kind of like bloodline thing that you've got going on. Um, so I think it's appropriate the way that it ends because mm. there is no escape in Annie trying to bury her head in the sand or not having the courage to not do what she knows she has to do when she's, when she's trying to miscarry and things like that. Like she's, she's scared of those moments because mm. She knows the badness is probably coming for him, but at the same time, it's hard to pull the trigger that way. And then when it comes to the end, you know that she was right and that like they, the badness is going to track with this kid. And I think it's a just more scientific version than what the Babadook does is it's kind of the redemption story of being a mother, mm-hmm. which is about like the incredible hatred you could have for your child, but is overcome by love at the end. And that that's the difference to me. This is a much more cynical take sure. on family mm-hmm. than sure. Babadook is, which is why Babadook is more interesting to me. But I think that this one is more horrific. 